Hi, I'm Real Jeanette Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 20, Volume 1. We've got to 20 seasons. I can't quite believe we've got to 27 seasons, but we're at 20 seasons. So because it's the start of a new season, and, and I really needed some dramatic music and possibly some Andy Warhol-style um, pictures in the background or something similar, maybe Grace um, Jones. Is it Grace Jones? Sort of rolling around on a chair or something similar, just to, just to bring the atmosphere in for you. But anyway... It's a new season of what's the day? I don't know, I'm rambling. <laughs> you missed me. <laughs> I know you have. Um, I'm rambling already. Right, okay, new season of what's on the tape. So, what we've got here is uh, this is a completely unknown one. I was going to do one which had some more sort of well known bits and pieces on here, but this has got nothing on it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's absolutely nothing here. But, I know for a fact, the spectrum sounds sounds on on this so we've got spectrum sounds on here on both sides and it's as it's 30 minutes which basically means there's 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 30 minutes each side is that 15 minutes each side sorry 15 minutes each side i think we can probably do this in a one so we'll, we'll give this a try in a one go and we'll see if we can actually get it working but because it's the beginning of the season you know what comes from the beginning of the season i have to have a game for the end of the season so the ace, ace end of season 20 I've got to have something to play. Um, I like to do a compilation because they're quite good fun. So, here's your choices. Let me give you your choices. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. We're going to start with, from last season, Karate Ace. So, it's Karate Ace, Way the Exploding Fliss, Bruce Lee, um, Kung Fu Master, Avenger, Samuel Trilo Trilogy, Uchimata, and um, Way of the Tiger. Seriously, there's some of the greatest games on here, even ones that I can almost complete in a single episode of um, What's on the Tape. So, so including, uh, where is it? Where's, 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 where's our man? There he is, Bruce Lee. Fantastic game. Um, so there's some really good ones on here. Possibly, um, some people don't like Kung Fu Master, but I do. Exploding Fist, fantastic. I wasn't so keen on Avenger, but it's all right. Uchimata, which is basically judo. Um, and then we've got, we've got, what's it? Is it am I, I always say Uchi, Uchimata. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with Mata. Um, I'm going to go with that. Way of the exploding. Um, no, sorry, way of the tiger. I always thought that was. A, I always thought that was um, a choose your own adventure. Am I wrong? Is there a choose your own adventure called Way of the Tiger? I feel like there is. The cover looks suspiciously like it should be. But anyway, very complete. Um, fantastic game. So 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 so. Are you going to choose that or it's heaven or hell? Realistically, are you ready for it? Actually, this isn't so hell as it was last time round. Here we are. Game set and match two. So we had game set and match last season. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I quite enjoyed it. We got some. We had we had we had the Daily Thompsons things and the other bits and pieces. So it wasn't so bad. This time round though, we got Super Bowl, uh, Winter Olympiad '88, Basketmaster. That's that's probably the best basketball on the spectrum. Ian Botham's Test Match, Super Hang On, Match Day 2, Nick Faldo's Open. I only remember that for the PC, to be honest with you. I know he was, a, was he a champion, Nick Faldo? Did he actually win any Opens? No idea. Championship Sprint, which is basically Super Sprint, the, the, the sort of the arcade game. Um, then we've got Track and Field from Konami, and of course, we've got Steve Davis's Snooker. Now, this one, a little bit more battered than the other one. I, to, to what makes me laugh? Can you spot the uh, deliberate error on the back of the box? You probably can't actually, because you probably the resolution is probably too low. But um, basically, that's the picture for championship um, championship sprint, and that's the instructions to your championship sprint, and that's the picture for super hang on, and that's the instruction bit for for them. Well, the little um, reader. So if you were looking at this, you'd be like, "Oh, motorcycle game," and then you'd be like, "Super hang on is a a what?" And it's a construction kit, so you get the construction kit with it. Anyway, so so the choice is yours. Is it game set and match two for a second time round? Another set game set and match. Or is it Karate Aces? Okay, choice is yours. Anyway, let's get this in a tape drive. Right, the tape is in the drive, so we're good to go. So let's go down to our favourite, basic, not to tape loader, basic, and load, dit, dit. We'll give it load, speech marks, speech marks, and we'll, we'll we'll see how this one goes. We'll see how this one loads, and we'll see if it does, does it. After two weeks off, um, it, it, it may be a bit of a, it may be, it may be the usual sort of, a, oh, it's grinding, and it doesn't do its, its usual thing, but we'll give it a try, we'll give it a try. Anybody get the reference at the beginning of the, the, the of the, the video, it was a very poorly um, timed reference to 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 the movie Vamp, which was which had featured a, I think it only featured a single chair from Andy Warhol, um, but it also uh, featured um, the 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 actress. Ooh. 
Underworld, maybe? Don't know. Right, okay. Anyway, under. Could be underworld. Didn't do the usual ACG thing, you know, where it does sort of that noise thing. But anyway, um, so yeah, poorly timed sort of reference to, to, to the movie Vamp, which, oh, that's a good start. There we, that's what we like. A bit of, bit of not working straight away. Ex excellent work there. Excellent work. Um, de definitely the, the, the way that we want our video to go. <laughs> not at all. Please don't do that. Please do, please don't. Please, please work a little bit better than that. So, um. Yeah, great movie. Um, had Grace. It's Grace. I'm sure it is Grace Jones. I can't. I'm, I'm in the bothered to look it up, even though I've reached up here for for whatever else is. Grace Jones, the 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 the, the act uh, model, wasn't she? She was a model. Yeah. So when she does a she does a a, a, a sort of a, 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 what they what they call a classy striptease on 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 this uh, this chair from Andy Warhol, which is I remember it being sort of like zebra colour, if I remember rightly. Yeah, Andy Warhol. Anyway, so 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 <laughs> doodle doo. -doo. Well, there was a doodle loot there, so maybe maybe it is. Don't know. Uh, come on, please. No, 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 no. Right under the other tape deck. I don't even know what it is. I'm not even sure if it is underworld. Realistically, I would. I would or, 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 I'd quite, I'd quite like. I don't know. Quite like an underworld. I don't think I've ever underworlds ever turned up on what's on the tape before. I was. I, that was one of the few games that, that you know. I did have some games that were there. I did have Underworld. I didn't remember having Underworld. It's a sort of. It was. It was a pretty, pretty, pretty cool game back in the day. So, so I did have that one. Let's push the play button. There we go. We've got a little bit more volume with this this next one, and a little bit more a little bit more tone in the other tape deck, the spare one that we've got on the side, just in case we need it. So, so we've got it. Have you got a beverage? I've got a beverage. I've got coffee, of course. <laughs> like I drink anything, I'm just actually not true, isn't it? There are videos where I've 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 I've, I've tipped to the dark side, a bit like um, you know um, John Luke Picard in in Star Trek: Next Generation, when I don't drink Earl Grey, you know, past the Romulan ale. Oh, that's that's a good start. I didn't even see it. This one. Let's pull, turn this volume down a touch. Let's press the play button again. Let's give it another go. Yeah, when it when it turns to the Romulan ale or something similar, that's the uh, that's the the the, the, the one. I watched, you know what I watched recently? The one where he, 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 it's, it's Tom Hardy, isn't it? I hadn't realised it was Tom Hardy who he plays opposite to as, as the younger version of Jean-Luc Picard. I mean, I bet, I bet he was well chuffed where it's like, it's like, we'd like to make Tom Hardy the opposite to you, the, the Reman, um, from, 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 this is going, this is going very well. Um, the Reman from the, from, from in Nemesis, the, the, the Star Trek Nemesis movie is, uh, Tom Hardy. I hadn't realised that. But he was dead chuffed with that. I mean, he's like, yeah, bring it on. Why not? Somebody said in the comments before though, and asked about what I should, who should play me in the movie, <laughs> in the in in the movie version. Somebody put it in the comments. I can't remember who put it in the comments, but I loved it. Um, Joe Pasquale, me as them in the movie. I, do you know something? I'll take it. I'll take Joe Pasquale as the, as as me in the. In the in 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 the feature length movie version of of what's on the tape, <laughs> I'm not sure how you could do a feature length movie version of what's on the tape. When I've done three hour videos, three hour videos, it's get it's you know, honestly, it's gonna have to be like five hours long, maybe a two parter, if they do a movie uh, of what's on the tape. And considering what I've just um, secured recently um, on on a, on, a, on a group on on Facebook, um, I've secured, brace yourself, three hundred and fifty tapes. Yeah, you need to do the math on that. There's a lot of math involved in that. So, so it's about eight and a half, eight and eight and nearly eight, nine, eight to nine years worth of tapes that I've just secured. I don't think I never need another tape again. Well, at least not for the nine years. So, so it, it's a possibility. I'm just gonna press break here because I want to. Oh, I can't press break. It's one of them games. One of them games where the break button has been disabled. Come on, please work. Oh, you damn you! What was it saying there? Loading was it? Oh, was it Underworld? I'm going to assume it's Underworld, and we're going to try it off the. We'll get the old Play ZX fired up. That's the always the answer with these things. Get the Play ZX fired up, and we'll get Underworld loading. I really like the boxes for these ones, though. Underworld and many other sort of games. They, they they've got they've got the most amazing sort of um, larger cardboard boxes that they came in with. Uh, sort of a a, a, a glossy um, label almost stuck on the front. Well, it is a label stuck on the front and the back, and uh, nothing on the side, which is really annoying because you can't sort of when you display them, you have to display them. You can't sort of display them as a list. That's just a bit, a bit annoying. But, but, but um, they've got the, the glossy sort of uh, 
um, side to these things, and they just and, and up my front and back, and they just look. I mean, the art is, is just just amazing. Uh, Underworld. There we go. I've got it. Let's press the play button. I'm going to go with Underworld because I think this is Underworld. There we go. Play ZX. Uh, a, a Spectrum um, Loaders. Yeah, I see under. Had to be because it said the word under. It could be, couldn't be any other game, could it? Possibly. Does it go? Does it go? Do -do 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 in a second. If it. There you go. It does. Yes. So this could be it. It could be a turbo loader, though. This is the problem. Oh, look at that. Horrible. Pause. Rewind. Do its one second thing there. Done. Clear. No. Pause. Rewind. To there. Set rewind. Done. Play. No, probably not. That's probably not the right. No, that's not the right point. That's the, the the other bit. Here we go. Come on. That bit there. Why is it not doing that? Oh, you got to hit this. It's typical, isn't it? That's the thing. It's typical. I don't know if I can see Underworld. I know. I know. I've got Underworld there. It's gone. It's done its horrible thing, right? Okay, it's almost like, do you know what? These speed loaders were 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 the bane of the uh, <clears throat> special tapes in the past. I mean, they really were. They were a horrible thing, right? You just stay there. I'm gonna go see if I can grab one. I see if I can find my original copy of it. Hang on, let's have a look. I'm looking. I'm up high. This could be bad because I could fall. I could fall off and hurt myself badly. If there's a break in my leg, just just just. Well, just assume that my wife sorted it, because she may have called the ambulance beforehand. Oh no, I need to get a stool. I need to get a stool. I'll be back. Hang on, you stay there. I'm running. I'm running all the way. I'm coming. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I've got a stool. I have a stool. We're okay. We've got a stool. Let's go. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I. Right. What have I got? I've got. Oh, I've got night law. Night law. What have we got here? Oh, alien eight. Oh, it has to be this one. Yes. Underworld. Ah, here we go. Got underworld. Go on, go on. Get out of the way, stool. Get out of the way, stool. Move. 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 <sighs> Hello. I'm back. <laughs> Did you miss me? Was I gone too long? So, Underworld. <laughs> I feel a bit bad about this one because I actually... Uh, I, this was a part of a, an eBay um, find and I, I beat... I beat Dave plays retro games badly, Birdsall, to this one. Um, sorry, Dave. I do apologise. You and I were bidding against each other. I hadn't realised at the time. Um, next time, won't, we won't bid against each other, I promise. Won't do it again. I, sometimes, I, I check nowadays, actually, to be honest. I don't want to bid against him if he's after something and he's already been on it. So, um, yeah, but, but I kind of beat him to it. And it, was, it wasn't by much, I don't think, but I did beat him to this sort of... It was a bundle with these things in, including a number of other things. Um... And I hate to say it, it's a superb copy of uh, of Underworld. <laughs> it's really beautiful. It looks great. It looks lovely on my shelf. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Even the inlay and the nice the sort of the, the 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 covered sort of thing is 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 superb. It looks really nice. I have got Underworld and Alienate as well, but I really don't like them in comparison to 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 the to to. to... Okay. Fingers crossed. That's so weird. Why does it load off the off the original and doesn't load off the like backup copies that have been like made perfectly? Why? 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 Mind you, the other week didn't we didn't we play for my just for my entertainment the demo version of uh, of, of of Strange Loop just to see whether or not that actually existed? No, I, guess, I lie. I think this actually has appeared on this before. Oh, that hasn't loaded at all. That's that's brilliant. That's just amazing. That's just what we want to see. That's fantastic news. So, Dave, it was although it's a beautiful copy, it's totally fun, fun, unfunctional. This is just, just rubbish. A, a good old, good old what's on the tape is back with a vengeance, back with 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 no no re no remorse. It cares little, little about whether or not you want to watch forty year old tapes load or not. No interest in at all in whether you want to see that. You don't doesn't want to know if you want to watch and play Underworld. No, nope, doesn't care at all. <laughs> <coughs> I'm making myself laugh. Okay, right. Back to the coffee. It's not not the best of coffees, this one, actually. I think it's very, too much milk and not enough coffee, I think. That's a... Oh. I didn't make that one. That was that one's, that one's somebody who doesn't put enough coffee in. 
I thank them for making the coffee, but uh, not not a very good coffee, I'm afraid. Not a very good one. So the disasters over the last two weeks. Not really any disasters, to be honest with you. Just a just a just a whole lot of uh, not much time to do very much, to be honest with you. A couple of nights out, you know, with the with the, with 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 a few of the chaps and and a, and a birthday for my son in between. Nothing very exciting. What did you do during the two weeks I was away? Did you? Did you I'm assuming you missed me. I, I reckon you just sat in front of the YouTube waiting for me, didn't you? The whole time, just patiently rocking, rocking yourself uh, with, with to, to comfort yourself in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the lack of the uh, of, of what's on the tape on the on on on, on your uh, telly boxes. I can assume that's all you did. So I do apologise. I'm back. I'm here to look after you. Obviously, you're gonna to have to wait between the next episode and the next episode. So, so, so brace yourselves for a long six days between here and from this episode to the next episode. But, but you'll be okay. You managed two weeks, so, so you'll you'll be all right. You can manage a whole week without me. <laughs> There's nobody rocking for me, by the way. <laughs> there isn't. Nobody's, 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 nobody's rocking in their seat waiting for me to come back to 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 to, to, to invade your telly boxes. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. So, oh, the only other thing that happened, and I, 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 I mean, I, I, is my I had a lovely retro telly, a cello one. Um, now, cello uh, are the, probably the only British electronics, and I don't think they make their electronics, they import a lot of it. Uh, electronics maker left, so it's kind of like Bush of its. and uh, Grundig. Remember Bush and Grundig? They used, to, they used to be British makers. Well, cello is probably the only one that's left. They sell sort of budget televisions and, and other things. Their, their tech is usually at least two generations behind everybody else's, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. It's like these, you know, these t- tellies that you get for like 100 quid now or something similar. That's the kind of thing. Anyway, I bought. A telly ten and a half years ago, a cello telly, and it was to act as a monitor. It could do 1080p, if it was 1080p, so ten and a half years ago, it could do 1080p. Um, but it was also capable of it had SCART sockets, it had two SCART sockets in it, it had three HDMI, it had composite, and it also had the, the, the other one, which is the broken up version of H, um, RGB composite and, and, and component. Um, but it had all of these things in it. Oh, and a, and a VGA just for good measure, and probably and it had the and an S VGA as well, an S an S video. Sorry, just for just for good measure. Basically, it had all of the various components you could have. Anyway, last week it died. Last weekend it died. Um, I was absolutely gutted that it had died, um, but obviously I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't go without a monitor or a screen for a length of time, so I. I was forced to sort of go out and get one, and I, I kind of begrudgingly got one. It's got like two HDMI sockets and a and a and a, a composite stroke component on the back, and that's it. You can't get any SCART nowadays. Nobody does SCART. Why? Why they don't do SCART? I have no idea. I would have thought that was a pretty um, sort of useful. Um, thing to do I'm just rewinding the tape by the way while this is doing it and I'm gabbing to you but um so anyway I, but I also got I also managed to find the exact same model on 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 eBay and buy one and it's arrived and it's working but now that I've tried this now bigger screen I'm kind of enamored by the fact that I've actually got a larger screen because this my other monitor was a really weird 26 inches um now I now I've moved up to a 32 however it doesn't fit in my cabinet which I had specially made for the previous monitor so there's some advantages and some major disadvantages advantages to this whole thing however it's it it, it I, I kind of have it sticking out a bit but it works it's not quite brilliant but it's but it's okay so but anyway our game is loaded finally underworld um basically in the black void long dark paths i, I have traveled this is a game where you can't die but you need specific weapons to kill the creatures that are there now i think the keyboard and mouse is just the same rubbishy keyboard and mouse as usual yeah, there's basically different weapons. So there's volcanic bubbles, rocks, there's catapults and things like that. Superb graphics, uh, uh, daggers. I mean, it says these are the features, by the way. Daggers, swinging ropes, ledges, ducks, pictures, tables. I believe somebody's making a, a remake of this at the moment. Something similar, a remake for the whole thing. But 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 um, yeah, it, it, it you yeah is it Z? Oh, what? How do I pick it up? Is it T? Yeah, so they can't kill you, but you have to... Is it T, Y, 1? How do I push, pick it up? What's the buttons? Oh, no, I need the buttons. That's the jump. No, don't push me over. There's a button to push it up. Pick it up. I can't believe it. I've got the menu, manu, ma, the, the manual in front of me, and I can't even blum him, be bothered. What's to pick up? Pick up. Uh, NM symbol shift. Right, okay. Drop from a rope. Right, Z. 
So I need to just press NMB or whatever else it says. So I need to get this catapult. Um, there we go. There we go. We can now fire at these things and score some points. But as you can see, you don't die. So the aim of the game is to get from the underworld to the top of the world. Um, that's the thing. You've got to escape. But to do that... Um, whoa! Whoa! What did I do there? Um, to get underworld to the top of the world, you have to... Oh, God! You have to um, um, get past certain guardians, and these guardians require certain weapons to get past them. So, so there's an extra life. Well, oh. I don't think it died there. I think it's fall damage that does kill you, though. Oh God, I haven't died. No, I have died. Yeah, it's fall damage that kills you. It's not the. It's not. It's the. It's the hitting the floor that kills you. It's not the drop from the height, as they say. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Here we go. That's another life down. Oh, damn. Yeah, it, it 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 can be a bit harsh, realistically, with its with its attack. But it's not it's not awful. It's quite good fun. I quite like this one. This is one of the, one of old, one of ACGs or or Rare's last sort of. Uh, um, uh, sort of, uh, sort of 2D ones, um, and I find it very disappointing when they went just to the. To, I know that they hit a, they hit a sweet spot with their, with their, with their, 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 their I think I'm invincible. Um, sweet spot with their. Uh, oh, gem protection. I'm not sure what the gem protects me from, but. They hit a sweet spot with their, with their, with their, with their, sort of, uh, you know, with their, with their, um, sort of isometric games, but, but I don't like them. I, I don't like them at all. They weren't, they weren't my thing, so, um, lad, good old rope to come down. And, yeah, I can't kill him. To get to the next part of the level, I need to be able to kill him. And I need knives for that, um, funnily enough. I know that there's a dagger that you need for him, so, um, let's swing this. And let's go this way. Um, oh, God. Bouncing everywhere. Like a lunatic. No. Down, down, down. Down, down, down without killing me. Please don't kill 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 me. I've only got two, three lives left. Three lives left. Zed. Right, in we go. I need to get on a bubble here and go upwards first. To get, a, to get this dagger that's going to be here. Please don't hurt me. A little bird's nest there, look. On the screen. It's cool. A bit harsh the way they spawn. You monsters. But that's what they are, of course. They are monsters. So let's let's be fair. I was bound to get hit by a monster sooner or later. Um, yep. Let's make it through the levels. Come on, make it. Oh no, I fell myself. Stupidity took over. Yeah, so so it's a bit of a it's obviously it's a classic platformer. Um it, not one that's been remade as far as I'm aware on the, any other system. So it's either the only place you, apart from that possible I know I, I lie. PC remake for a, a modern day sort of audience. But 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 originally it was only on the old Specky. The Specky was the was the king of this one. Um king of the platform games. Um I think it was uh Meth Production was saying that Spectrum was quite king king of these kind of things. I think you're probably right. They're pr 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 pretty much the king of the uh, of the of the platforming game um back in the day. Um, my dog's barking for no reason at all. I'm assuming it's just up oh, dead. One life left. We can go up on the bu bubble. I'm on, up on the bubble, and I need a swing. No. No. Dead. Four percent completed of Underworld. Fantastic game. What a great way to start the whole thing, actually. To be honest with you, good, good game that one. Um, they're just, 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 just tough. It'll just keep you busy. That's all. It's one of those things that'll keep you properly busy with the whole thing. So, so, right, 
Yes, getting the tape deck. Right, okay, let's press play. Yes, I know, we, 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 we've we done that one, so let's carry on. Let's see what else is on here. There's the spectrum noises going in the background. Love a bit of spectrum noises. I think it was uh, I think it was a while ago was, uh, there was a chap, uh, I can't remember his name actually, oh sorry, I feel really bad because I've, I've forgotten some, some names there, but but, but um, he was saying that uh, he'd watched uh, an episode of What's on the Tape with his other half and his other half um, had, had said, how, do I, how did I know from the sound of the tape whether, what, what computer it was for? And it's just because they all had, I would call, distinct sounds. However, you could easily mix up Amstrad CPC and Spectrum. They had, because of the processor, it was the same sort of loading sound and also the same sort of speed. So, 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 so they're the mixable upper ones. BBC was a distinctly different. Um, the Commodore 64 is a distinct sort of pulsing of, uh, of, of, of sound and music. Uh, music, sort of sound and data, should I say. A distinct sort of pulsing, a very slow pulsing, of course, um, because it was slower than the spectrum. So, 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 spectrum being 300 board and it being 150. There we go. Tra <laughs> oh, I didn't make this up. I really didn't. This is not me, by the way. I, I, this trash man, greatness, one of the greatest games on the Specky, doesn't make an appearance for ages, and then it's just back. It's just like back in your face, you know. The, the trash man of, of, of this one, of course, being completely inappropriately named, because, uh, I mean, in the UK at the time, we wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been called trash man, they would have called them dust men, because that's what they, they were doing, dust bins. So um, uh, the bins with the dust in, of course. So dust bins rather than trash, so, so, so they would have been bin men, so this should be bin men, really. But uh, new generation software, absolute stonker of a game. Um, simple idea, empty the bins, put the bins back, go up the road, make it through the levels. There's our little trash man at the bottom underneath the name there with a bin on his shoulder. Those are the houses with the bins, the cars. And everybody's got a... <coughs> no one sneezed a lot there. Everybody's got a mini metro because that was the car of the 80s. The Austin Metro. Austin Metro. Wow. Was it Leyland? Was it Leyland? They were all the blooming same, weren't they? They all kind of took over each other. I know a story. A story. Uh, uh, I don't know how true the story is of the of of a of a of a of a metro on the line. A friend of mine told me it. His friend. His, and 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 it's a it's hearsay. It's like friend of a friend. So, but anyway, um, if it's true, I would love it to be the case. So they were making, um, building these 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 metros on the line, and they were mucking about. And this uh, uh, metro ended up with a huge smash in it. They, they they cracked it with something. They dropped something on it when they were mucking about on the line. So instead of saying anything, they all they did is they wheeled to the bottom of because uh, 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 of, of the where it was the the, the, the land that it was on. They had a they had some old sort of railway style sidings. So they rolled this thing to the bottom of those railway sidings where um, they were. They were they were building. They were just sealing them up and, lo and shutting them up, and it was pitch black. So they pushed it all the way at the back of this pitch black thing, left it there, and then sealed it up. And apparently, twenty years later, they opened it up, and there was this spotless uh, uh, metro with a with a smash in the front bonnet where they dropped something on it. Um, still in the back of this 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 railway sort of siding thing. I would love that to be true. I would love that story to be true. I'd love that to be the case that that somebody goes, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I was there when we were up, rolled it in the back of the of the, of the whole thing. And just just did a sneaky one, and just that day we were like one car short. We never did it, so so um, I I can I can kind of half imagine that getting away with that in the eighties, you know. So so just a just a little bit of sneakiness there of the of the, the fact that it wasn't as automated and, and the processes were, were, were paper based, and I guess if you didn't put the right paperwork in, it never really happened. That kind of stuff. So yeah, I can kind of get that one. I can get that. So um, yeah, so this should be. Around about thirty minutes in total loading time for all of these tapes, so so that's not so bad. That's 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 a it's a good hour long of, of of me gabbing away with whatever else is. I have got some lovely tapes recently. I've been uh, I've been I've been a chap called uh, um, Steph has been sorting me out with a, with a lot of tapes recently. So every time every time he finds some when he's because he's a buyer and seller of tapes, um, every time he finds some he, he provides me with a he sort of sends me a list and goes, "Yeah, do you want this one?" I'm like, oh, "Okay, yeah, fair enough, add it to the pile." You know, so 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 I've been getting quite a lot from him. This is one of those from that pile. Nice uh, um, Thorn EMI one, right? Coffee, and then we'll hit the hit the roads. Mm. 
I tell you what, if they were going to do this again, it'd be wheelie bins. It'd be a wheelie bin that he had. Right, okay, let's put our name in. So we have to scroll through the keys. It's cursed keys. It's blooming horrible. Don't know why. Terrible set of keys. Would have been much better. I should have put the joystick in, really, and used interface too. But never mind. Right. Remember getting a Kempston joystick for the first time. Got it from uh, W. H. Smiths in Kettering. Um, fantastic thing that was. Um, the Kempston joystick interface and the joystick itself. It was. It was a game changer. It ge genuinely was, and especially as you could play all kinds of games on it. You know, and and be no more applicants. Um, uh, I, you know, and it was just. It was such a. It was such a game changer. It really was. Right. So there's me, he's a little uh, trash man. Don't walk on the grass because then they don't give you. Um, bonuses so i'm going to show you what the bonuses in a second so this is heavy now so it goes slower which is really cool They're empty 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 two empties you go a lot slow faster when you're doing it so 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 now put the bin down down goes the bin and as i start to leave they come to the door and say do you want a tip and you go yeah yeah and now the tip is your bonus score at the top corner of the screen so i get another 50 now and um, which goes the bonus is also my timer uh, that's got Trashman worried. I'm his tax inspector. Right, okay, that's not very good. So, so you only get the one life as well. So if you get run over on the road, that's it. You've had it. You've had it. Absolutely had it. So, so, so you get bonus time at the top of the screen anyway. Um, and you only get bonuses though if you don't disturb their garden or upset the dog and things like that. So, so it's really important to kind of get, get on the, get, get going along the road. And it's really bad news when you're heavy. Boom, boom, boom. Into the bin straight down this road back down here uh stick this in here and see the bonus goes up now i didn't know about the bonus time being bonus being the time as well originally so i got quite confused by this and and it's uh do you want a copy of monster 3d monster maze yes of course i do and then they go do you what do you did you think it was going to be an original what on earth did you expect an original just like this you know so 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 right let's get up the road anyway Let's get that one. There's t five bins on this road. Five bins. And then... Um, yep, there's the bin sorted. And we're about to go. And then she says, do um, you think I'm a megalomaniac? Go in there for another 50 points. You need all these points, by the way. It's the only way to do the levels. Otherwise, you've had it. Just give me a ZX81 and I'll take over the world. Very good. Very good, very good. So here comes our next bin. And there's one across the road. Let's see if we can get this one in. We've also got to make it before the truck makes it up the road as well. So this is this. Ah, oh, oh god. There we go. Ba -ba. We're getting there. Um, do I want a free copy? Yes, I do. It's another special version, of course. Let's get out of here. Yeah, what enough did you expect? It's not. Right, quick, quick over the road. Let's get this one in. Come on. Almost running out of time. The truck is almost at the top of the road. I am so so running out of time. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No! Oh god, that was close. It almost ended up as trash man dinner. And then I think he runs to the top of the road. Oh, I wanted to get a bonus there, but they didn't come there. Do you think I'm a megalomaniac? Give me yeah, give me a spectrum. Give me a spectrum now. And I'll control the world. And your score goes down as well, of course. And then we're done. Good day's work there, trash man. Tomorrow, another street. And let's see how fair on that one. Cool. And there's the next street. There's bicyclists now, we see, of course. Oh, I'm on the grass. That's, that's no good. They'll hit me. I walked on the grass. I should not have walked on the grass. They don't like it when you walk on the grass. You score those down. And you get into trouble. It's a great game, trash man. There we go. Drop that bin off. They're not going to come out and congratulate me on emptying the bin because I've just walked on the grass. Uh, no, no congratulations on this one. Straight across the road to the next. Down, up. And we'll get it. I like the graphics on this one though as well. I think they look really good, don't you? I mean, it does. It does kind of feel like a street, doesn't it? It feels like a street and houses, all the things that you expect for the whole thing. So, yeah, a pretty, pretty good realistically. I, 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 uh, I don't. Uh, sugar that nearly ended up as trash man stew. Um, yeah, I like it. 
I like the way it plays as well. I think it's a good game. I think it's. I think. I think one of one of the ones that pops up frequently and then has a long burst of not being there. But people didn't get that one. Can you look at my TV? Yes, I can. Let me in. And when I said look at your TV, I didn't mean watch it. That's what she says. The second. That's not what I meant. Not watch it. Right. Okay. Sorry. One house on this this bit of the stretch of the road. Worth it wasn't. Oh, yeah. Sugar. There we go. Straight on over. Drop the bin. Straight out. Would like a tip? I certainly would. I'm a tax inspector. Uh, keep off the grass. Oh, I've, I've bothered. A dog came out. Ah, I'm, I've upset myself there. I kept off, keep off the grass. I didn't keep off the gar grass though. I was a stupid boy. I walked on the grass. I should have kept off the grass. I've lost my look at my score. My score's going down madly now, rapidly. Two weeks without some Spectrum games, and my skills are gone. All my mad skills, skills with a with a capital surf for skills. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna be gangster, am I? Uh, um, here we go. There we go. Monster Hunter, Monster Maze. Sorry, not Monster Hunter. Monster Maze. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna go. Oh God, what are you doing? Up, up we go. Here we go. How many bins are left? Feels like a million. She's gonna have to run down the road here to the bin truck. It's probably going to move now that I've done this. I'm running out of time. Ah, idiot! Ran on the grass. That's it. We've had complaints about your activities. All right, twice more and you're fired. Oh, oh, oh! I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Twice more and you're fired. Yeah, you get to start again now. Look. At least you didn't die on that one, so so that's not so bad. I'm not going to continue playing, though. We're going to see what else is on this tape, but uh, you get the general gist. It's a great game. It's a fantastic game. We've seen it many a time on uh, What's on the Tape, and we've enjoyed it many a time on What's on the Tape. It's just a, just, a, just a cracking little game that keeps us busy. Busy, busy, busy. The busy bees. Busy bees. Uh, right. I'm going to have to put that, that copy of uh, um, Underworld back up again, actually, in a minute. Well, after this is finished, I've got to put that back up. Oh my god, it's a who's who. I'm quite surprised by this. I am quite surprised. Who's who of Spectrum games. This is by by far one of my favourite sort of Spectrum sort of shoot 'em ups. I love I love a bit of jetpack. Jetpack's great. This has got sensible controls as well, not just like a straight line. I don't know what ACG were thinking. They couldn't even do the whole point about redefining the keys. That's so annoying as well. Redefining the keys is almost like fundamental. Do you know? Here's here's features in games back in the day that we wished we had. Pause. How big a deal was pause when we found pause? Huh? You could actually pause a game, and when your mum shouted, you had to come for your tea. You could pause the game, and go back and play it again afterwards. You couldn't just be. It wasn't like I'm in the middle of a game, mum. You could actually pause a game, and go and have your tea. And then come back and unpause the game. Blooming amazing features of the day. Pausing the game. Pausing the games and redefining the keys. That was also that was also groundbreaking. Being able to choose the keys you use to play your favourite game melts your mind does melts melts one's mind does that it's just amazing that you can actually do that changing the keys pausing a game however they can't pause the games nowadays can they the, the kids of this generation they might be able to change the controls but they're all online playing multiplayer no pausing for them not happening none at all no pausage for you but for us pausing was a thing oh There we go. Mm. 
That wasn't very good. Do that again. Come on. Mm, not happy. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit. What's it doing now? No, let's do Luna Jet Man. No, no, no. We've we've done loads of Luna Jet. We're not doing Luna Jet Man right now. I can't believe we've got Luna Jet. So who's who's a Spectrum Games this one? Right, okay. Jet Jetpack. Jetpack it is, right? Okay. Let's get Jetpack on and then we'll do Luna Jet Man. Cuz I can't believe uh, Luna Jet Man hates me. Absolutely hates me. I can't believe this tape. This tape's unbelievable. It's honestly to who's who. I, I I couldn't have made this up. I couldn't I didn't even know what was on it. And and here we are, Jetpack. Jetpack. Can we not have jetpack? Is jetpack not, not on here? Oh, jetpack is on here. Right, okay. Load, load, did it. Load, did it. i play ZX to the rescue again. There we go. Two and a half minutes for, for, for jetpack. Of course, it was also one of those other games that came on the ROMs. Remember the ROMs? Where it was going to be fast loading games. You put it on the ROM, you plugged it in. Ping, game came up. It was only... I reckon a dozen of those. There might be a bit few more. Somebody can tell me in the comments, I'm sure. I'm sure there was only a dozen of those things that came up, those ROMs. Um, but they didn't really... They, they, they promised 128k... Uh, not 120k. They promised 48k games. But I don't think any of the games that, it actually, that were actually produced on it were anything other than 16k. So, so, so I wonder if... I wonder if there's any... Wonder if there's any question mark here about whether or not, you know, whether they really could do it or not. Somebody should take one apart. That's what it is, isn't it? Should somebody should take one apart and make a question about that? I mean, I think that the micro drives could do 48k, couldn't they? I think they could do 128 actually for some reason. I don't. I might be wrong with that stat. Or was it 256? It might be into 256, because that would be kind of a, a useful number, 256, you know. Sort of at extra sort of space for the, from the memory. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, so... Uh, I don't know. There was only so many games, but this is one of those games. You could just put it in, and it just appeared. And there it was on the screen. I was re Back in the day, I was, like, I was like proper envious of anybody who had one of those. I was like, whoa. You've changed the spectrum into a games console. That's what it was for me. That was like that was like that was like changing a spectrum into a games console. And because my friend had an MSX and he had cartridges, they had cartridges in the MSX. You could put it into an MSX and you put a cartridge in, and he had Yeah Kung Fu. Just plugged it in. You got the extra music and all the bits that went with it. Oh my God, so good, so good, so clever, so so amazing at the time. We just we just loved that kind of stuff. I I, I really did, I really did. But we could see the end of... I don't know about anybody else, but I could see the end of, uh, of, of of sort of cartridges because at the end of the day, you had to produce chipsets to go on them. And I know that they exist in the... And of course, Nintendo always... Own, you know, walk, it walks to its own beat, doesn't it? It's own, its own tune. It's it's basically its own thing, isn't it, Nintendo? But 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 as we saw things like the 3DO appearing, the Saturn, the the the, the, the sort of the 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 the, 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 the PlayStation um, one, all this kind of stuff, as they started to appear, we knew that the end was nine for, for, for things. But Nintendo didn't, of course. Nintendo persisted with the um, N sixty four because unlike everybody else, Nintendo and Nintendo and of course the games were more expensive and that was the problem. They were more expensive. But it didn't kill Nintendo, it just they were just Nintendo. They did Nintendo things, and then when they did do um, discs, they did the GameCube, and the thing was smaller. They're just such a weird bunch of people. You can't, you can't really make it, make it up. But anyway, right here we go. So this is our little man, our little jet man. He's landed on a planet, crashed his spaceship because, of course, he was um, drunk at the wheel again. Been drinking Stella all night, apparently. Um, gallons of the stuff. He loves it. He's a big fan of Stella. Um, so, 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 so he's been drinking Stella all night. And, uh, um, get it? It's Interstellar. No, I'm kidding. Um, so he'd been drinking Stella all night, and, uh, and he, he woke up behind the wheel of his, uh, of his, of his space shuttle, uh, the U-1. Seems he also broke the U-2, 3, and 4, because he had a good night. 
Um, and 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 he wakes up behind the wheel, and basically he he he's 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 had a little bit too much to drink, and we've got this uh, this 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 situation where you have to put together the spaceship because you've landed on, well you haven't landed, you've crash landed on a space an alien planet, um, with your with your with your your sort of um, fuel in hand. Um, it's just dropping out orbit, by the way, because it's just like floating around like like it crashed. Yeah, it's so strange. So strange. Right. Here we go. And we're ready to go. It's now fueled up and ready to go. And your jet man takes another another alcohol fueled uh, um, uh, flight into space. Uh, lands again. He's, he's a clever boy. He's a clever boy. These are the, these are the games though. These are the games. These are the ones of the day. These are cr cracking single screen. 16k shoot 'em ups, just just the business. There's a fuzzy wuzzy, a furry worry. Yeah, the fuzzy creatures. I think they also feature in Cookie, as well. I like the way he leans into his shot though. Look at that, he's leaning into the shot. I got a race course ready to go. I love this game. There is a remixed version of it. There's a re-release on the on the uh, on the Xbox 360 and uh, and and the PlayStation 3. Um, not sure whether that's been transferred over because they're talking about they're all talking about keeping the games because nowadays they're going to turn they're going to turn off um, um, the Xbox Live Store for for the 360 shortly. Um, I guess not enough people are playing it on it anymore, so that kind of makes sense. They're maybe not making any money for it, but uh, yeah, that's that that is being that's been that's been getting got rid of. My question now though is. What happens to those Xboxes that are still connected to the internet that still still get that connection? Is it going to still work or not? Don't know. We'll see. We'll see. See what games they try and people try and keep alive that they're still playing on the uh, on the on the on the Xbox 360. It'll be quick. It'll it'll be quick. It'll be it'll be it'll be Halo. It's almost always Halo. I haven't even got over to the other side of the tape yet. The beauty of this game. There's some more fuel there. Yep. Lunar Jetman next. Oh, sugar. I thought I had that there. Right, okay. Lunar Jetman, which is like the next version of this. It's like the 48k version. It's uh, it's hard to play. Um, it's... It's about bombing aliens. It seems that after, after not content to, the fault to, to to crash his, his spaceship into the um, aliens' planets, um, Jetman is 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 taking it to a next stage, which is nuking them, of course, because that's the the solution to to all alien problems. Um, nuke it from orbit, as we know from aliens. This is clearly the answer. It's the only way to be sure. I mean, all they really wanted was free dental care. I mean, you see the teeth on them. And the slobbery chops. <laughs> Ripley had been a dentist, it would have been all okay. Apart from, the obviously, the incubation of um, aliens. But, but other than that, perfect. Of course, they've now completely changed all of that with the, uh, the, the, uh, the, with the Prometheus and, and Covenant... Um, oh, God. Uh, Covenant movies. Um, I believe they're making more aliens movies. Because we've not, not had enough. You know what, though? They don't take enough inspiration for the people who did it right back in the day. The people who did it right were people like Dark Horse. And Dark Horse were the comic book writers who took over the franchise later. And they did some fantastic um, sort of st stories. Dark, um, difficult, nasty for things that are there. You know, about, you know, sort of surviving it all and, and living with the aliens around you, with everybody you know dead. That was Survivor, I think it was called. A fantastic idea for a comic book. Never really taken much further. I mean, we were quite disappointed that, that we didn't get the story that we thought we were going to get from, uh, from 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 Alien Resurrection. That was Joss Whedon, of course. Um, it turned it comic book, which is fine. Then managed to do something um, 
abominable with the uh, alien later on and the, the whole thing. Just, just, just grotesque. Terrible things. Terrible things. I always turn it off before it gets to the point where and the, the stupid part happens. Now we got. Now this is the second spaceship that he took out that that evening. This time he was tank, tanked up on uh, on some other kind of lager. Probably was on the Carlsberg at this point. Um. Oh, that was lucky. Um, and he, uh, he, he, he took, took the, took us, took the, uh, U2 out. U2. Is that Bono? <laughs> took Bono out. Anyway, uh, took the U2 out, um, for, 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 for a flight. And, of course, being tanked up as usual, uh, he, uh, he crashed that as well into an alien planet. And now we're just destroying these polar aliens. And all they're doing is trying to defend their, 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 their home from the terrible and dreadful um, Jetman himself. Oh, bums. I'm not doing very well now. Not doing very well. Anyway. Yeah, so the terrible um, Jetman... Him oh. Oops. <laughs> I've got the high score, though. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, got left the keyboard alone. Oh, bum. Right, okay. Yeah, Jetpack. Good game. Great game. Love that one. 1983. Year after it was released, the old Specky from ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety eight three. That was the year I actually got a Spectrum and that was one of my first and early games, that one. That was one of my early games. I mean, I, I don't know about anybody but does everybody remember their early games? I mean obviously I remember Hungry Horace. I repeat it over and over again, multiple times, just in case you haven't heard that I liked Hungry Horace back in the day. Um but um Um yeah, I I I I I basically this Peppy right Jetman. God, how did I manage to get there? Did I fast forward it? I must have fast forwarded it before when it didn't load properly. Anyway, Jetman. So yeah, so, um, you know, Jetpack was one of my early games. Um, um, uh, Attic Attack was one of my early games. Uh, well, um, obviously Horace. I got Horace and the Spiders as well because because I had to. And then I was really upset when everybody with a Plus Spectrum Plus got got that pack of get games that was basically hundreds of them everywhere so you got checkered flag with it and you got and you got Horace hungry Horace go skiing De devastated that those those weren't available to me I hadn't actually been able to get those as part of the time and I, I I really I do honestly that was for me was a, was a devastating thing I was I was like I was I was really wanting those games and of course they didn't come with spectrum all I got was horizons or horizon which I think you should have been forced to still get with the plus spectrum, and I don't think you did. I think by then they'd already kind of settled on, yeah, oh, you, uh, and they'd already sort of settled on the uh, the idea of doing, uh, you know, doing sort of uh, um, a sort of a pack without that kind of educational bits and pieces in it. Probably much to the the disgust of uh, the, uh, the, the 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 of of the big brain that was uh, Sir Clive Sinclair. Yeah, he was, he was a big. He, was a, he had a big brain, didn't he? He, had, he was a. He was a proper genius as well. Right, Luna. Luna Jetman. Luna Jetman. Luna Jetman. There we go. There it is. Luna Jetman loading. A longer load, double the time. It takes that of uh, jetpack to load, so so so. Um, I just turned out to be quite a long video this one, actually longer than I thought it was going to be. There we go. There, there, there's me thinking it's going to be pretty simple and very easy going, but it's not. I'm only I'm I'm not even half. I'm just over halfway through the tape here. I think this is a lie. I think this is 30 minutes per side. Can't be the case. It's got to be 15 minutes. Feels like a lot longer. Probably is only 15 minutes worth of loading to be honest. A lot longer. If it carries on like this, I might end after this one. We'll see what, see how I feel. See how I feel, because Luna Jetman... Yeah. It's the next stage, you know. After the Stella's out of his system, he decides to, to, to get rid of the evidence, evidence conveniently by blowing it all up. <laughs> There's a movie. Thinking about the evidence conveniently blowing it up. Soldier with Kurt Russell. Love that movie. Stupid sci-fi. Not the best of movies in the world. The graphics are brilliant. Um, it's it. You know, graphics. The the the. You know, the the special effects and the timing of it isn't brilliant. 
But it's all right. It's good. But they try and blow up the planet at the end of it. Sorry to spoil, spoil the story, but, but they do. Um, worth a watch. I like Soldier. It's a good good one. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell when he's when's Kurt Russell. You know when he's sort of problem grizzly, grizzly sort of man. Oh, coffee is so good. I love coffee. I really do love coffee. I, 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 I don't think I would. Uh, I don't think I could go go without coffee. And so that's uh, isn't it? It's, it's, it's um, caffeine is probably one of the most addictive substances on the planet. You can, I can see why. I can, I can, I can completely, completely, uh, 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 you know, get my head around that. Very addictive indeed. Yeah. That and ZX Spectrum ownership. If you had a ZX Spectrum in your entire life, that's that's it. You're, you're, you're a special kind of person, just like me. <laughs> special for the rest of your life. Just, just special because of the the. the, the I mean, you can't really beat the Specky, can you? I mean, realistically, it's a beautiful machine. It's a beautiful machine. It was made made for a budget, and it did what it was meant to do. However, it didn't do what the owner thought it would, or the maker thought it was going to do. I like the fact that he thought it was going to be a businessman for serious things. Or business machine, sorry, for serious things. Businessman. Likes to put his bowl hat on, get his umbrella, go for a walk down uh, down 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 Oxford Street or whatever else it does. I don't know where he goes well, go walking in London. I don't know the don't know the city, I'm afraid. But uh, but but yeah, it's it, it, it's it's it was, it was he wanted it to be a business machine. The owners of Spectrum's just wanted to play games and have fun. A lot of them became fantastic developers um, that 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 are still in the business to this day. Or if they're not, they've retired and they're doing it for fun. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's it's it it started that. I mean, uh, to quote to quote badly, you know, the, uh, was, was a, there was a movie, isn't there? Bedrooms to billionaires, and that's kind of it. Or to, bedrooms to billions, I think it's called. And then, uh, and it did. It started that whole revolution. That was this is this is a thing. We, I'm I'm quite. I feel I feel quite pleased that I lived through those early days of um, computers being born and the changes and all the other bits and pieces i think nowadays is extremely boring um i feel very sorry for 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 kids growing up with computers and not necessarily computer games because they're quite they're quite impressive but they're quite generic you know it's that whole it's that whole ai will be doing stuff in the future i don't think it will um, i'm going to i'm going to disagree with that um i i i've i've I, you know if if you've ever used some ai to do things I think it fails, and it doesn't understand fair use, which means that if it scrapes scrapes its information from what its developers and researchers put into it, from what it pulls from the internet and other things, if you ask it about fair use, it says the responsibility lies with the user. Um, can it be creative? No, it can't be creative. It's pulling it all from patterns of information that's out there. It cannot, cannot possibly be creative, unfortunately, because it's not allowed to be, because it has a creator at the end of the day, and that creator and developers fiddle and interfere with it. It cannot become, um, it'll never become Skynet. It just doesn't, it doesn't have the, do you know what it is? It's the laziest business, it's the laziest business person in the world. It's the laziest person in the world. It has all the knowledge in the world, and all they want to do is sit and watch, um, you know, uh, daytime telly. That's what it wants to do. That's all it wants to do. It literally cannot be bothered to use its brain power for anything else. Has all the knowledge in the world, no interest in using it. And that is why it's it's never going to be a, a big thing. You can argue with me about it, but 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 I'm right. I'm sorry. I'm right. <laughs> it literally you can you can you can even read it by the way. If you look at the the it's like somebody vomited a dictionary. If you want to see where people have been using um AI, have a little look at um the way it's writing stuff. Um it vomits up a dictionary and uh and puts too many sort of uh, sort of it puts words like empowered into it and revolutionary and and um, productivity and um, oh, what what else? It just it doesn't really matter. You'll see them. It's so obvious. You can read it on every plumbing website now, from here to Kingdom Come. Um, and those which don't do that in the future will be the ones that are noticed, and that'll be back to human power. So, so um, writers, artists, um, actors, do not fear the AI. Unfortunately, the human race will realise it's so generic in the future that it's like watching um, daytime telly while while being while drinking 
20 cans of Stella or something like that. It just, it's going to be mind-numbing and it's going to be boring and we're not going to like it um, because it doesn't, it's not relatable and I think it's broken at this point. But anyway, let's get on with the gaming. Let's get on with the gaming. Let's see if I can do this, uh, if I can remember. Now I've got to pick up this this thing here. How do I pick up this thing? Oh, God. Here we go. This is the, this is the, this is the game that gives me 10 seconds. There, that's me in the vehicle. Sugar. Now I have to platform things down the floor to stop, to do... Oh, sugar. How do I put the platform things down? Oh, I give up. Let's just go shoot some stuff. Yeah, you can't... The car, the, the, the truck with the massive wheels can't go over those tiny little bumps there. Oh, I absolutely hate Lunar Jet, man. It sucks. One more go, um, and I'm not even. I'm. Not, I'm not kidding. I can't stand this game. I, I. It's just too tough. It's not. It's unrelenting. And as much as I, I don't mind tough. Right. There's our little machine. We've got to get the bomb on it and take it to the alien base and then blow the blooming thing up. Yeah, it's this alien over there. So we'll see if we can find the alien. Right. Yeah, it can't go over the smallest of bumps. It's blooming useless. And then once I get blown up, I actually become the biggest hindrance in the game. Teleporting. Now yeah, I'm flying. Wow. I'm teleporting. I've teleported where there's nothing. Weird, I can jump the gaps as well, and they can't. No fuel. What a game. Nah, not... Nope. Had enough. Bored already. Absolutely bored of that one. Not one of my favourites, that's for certain. It's not to say that it isn't well refined, well designed, um, and looks okay, but it's 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 yeah, mm, not fun. Let's see what else there is. This will be Jetman. Yeah. Let's fast forward this to see what we got on after here. Yeah, not not one of my favourites. Now, I, I do think that AI, by the way, has probably already run its course, and that is literally, you know, it's only been out a few months. I can see I can see why people are getting bored with it. It is it is faulty and it's false and it doesn't look right. Um, it'll it'll have some things. Um, I think it has. I found it useful for. I needed some data sorted, um, and it was actually to do with uh, the twenty p arcade challenge. At, um, uh, uh, Facebook had lost access, to, had, 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 had prevented access to the document, which you can't do anymore. They don't let you do documents, so they're called legacy, so they don't even care. So, so, so there was a document that I needed to get back, but I couldn't get it back. So I pulled all of the list of my my videos from um, from 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 my uh, YouTube channel itself. But Bill pulled this whole list, and then I gave it the the list to to ChatGPT and said tidy up the data because it looked rubbish. It was like it was like overlapping with whatever it was. And I said, can you remove this? And I gave it a sample of what it was looking for, and it did, and it produced a, a perfectly sound, uh, um, filtered um, thing, and it pulled out all of the what they what what he discovered was date stamps and other things like that, and it pulled all this information out. And and in fairness, that's what it's for. That's that's the kind of thing. But even then, you have to double check it as a human being. You can't you can't be hundred percent convinced that it's correct. It is it is a machine at the end of the day. I'm turning the tape over, people. We're going for it. Brace yourselves. It's a big one. So uh, yeah, it was it. Yeah, wow. I, I'm, I don't know what to say realistically. I think I think I, I think it's already I think it's already um, reached its 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 abilities. Uh, not past them. It has too many frameworks and patterns built within it. Um, I think that if you're a writer and they ask it to say, write in your style, I think that um, you would be within your rights 
to sue the living daylights out of them because, um, or uh, you know, they want you to sue the user, by the way. You need to sue the AI um, or the company that makes the AI because it isn't creative. It uses patterns, and those patterns are generated. Um, and this is this is night law, by the way. Somebody's put night, night law on here. This is like a, a who's who's of... Um, of, of um, of, of of ultimate games. This is night law. I'm gonna see if I can load it off the uh, off the play ZX and see if that'll work. I have got a copy of it, so we can we may have to use that, but we'll see. We'll give it a quick try off here. Play ZX first. Um, I know that's night law because I can hear by the sound of it. Night law. Night. Law. Night law. Yeah, got night law. Here we go. Give this a try. Yeah, I, I, I think I think you would would be perfectly within your rights to sue it. Same with imagery. Um because funnily enough, it still needs us to be creative, human beings that is, to provide it with the patterns that it can steal. It's fair use. It's not even. It's not even close with its fair use. You. It, it's. This is. This is a scenario where um, you, within your rights, do that. I believe there's somebody already doing it. It's a Sarah Silverman who's already suing uh, OpenAI for 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 basically people being able to write in her style and using her books. So here's the next part that comes with this. This is the next failure, by the way, of of a OpenAI. So the next thing that will come is um, writers and literature will become not copyright, but it will be you'll be able to protect it. You'll be able to have you'll you'll have the right to be removed from it. Um, European Union will probably be the first to force that. Um, there may be other countries that will do. Um, the US probably will too because there'll be too many cases of people suing over patterns. So this machine then becomes bereft. Of information that it then has to license, so you'd either have to pay for it or license wherever else it is. Once it's empty of information, and then how does it learn? It can't learn anymore because it's no longer allowed to pull that breadth, breadth of information from somewhere. Where's it going to come from? It's not like a human being who's reading something or something similar. And you and we don't we don't have the way to access that information for the most part. We're not all you know we don't all have photographic memories, but we don't have the 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 the, 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 the capacity to, inf to use that information the same way as the machine does. And we have the capacity to be creative with what we learn and go forward. No need for AI. Um, AI will be, uh, AI. I think it's had is, is going to be days are numbered. Its job will be processing. You will teach it jobs to process things. So, say you've got, like my case there, data that I need processed, mathematical formulas that you need to be done, programming, um, improving, um, say, your code. So you put your code into it and say, can you make it shorter and more uh, correct? You know, can you shorten that kind of thing? That's what its job will will will, will fall to being. Um, it will be helpful for. Uh, tidying photographs however you will get the options that will go you know when you say I want to remove this and, and it already does it by the way it's already there and it's going to do filling in frames in computer games so that's what's the latest thing you know the, with gra graphic cards it'll do filling in frames so it speeds up the game that's play because you feel look at the AI's filling in and get the frames um, with what would it expect to see within that frame it's perfectly reasonable but there'll still be a human eye over the top of it. So you, as much as you will have that, those, 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 those things where it will edit a photograph, there will be options. You will be given options. Is this the right one? Is this the right one? Is this the right one? Data processing is its future. Usage to, 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 to replace human beings and be creative? Absolutely not. Never. Anyway, that was that's that's my rant over. <laughs> if you think about it, I'm right though. Anyway, let's go. So uh, directional controls. Yeah, I don't like tank controls. Dulu, and this is one of these games where I just just I want to love it, but I hate it. All right, let's just jump. Do 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 do. Gonna change in a second. Handy because you apparently can jump higher as the werewolf. So this might be the. 
That doesn't look any high to me, though. I think these are beautiful. I hate them, though. I, 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 I know that sounds really harsh, but I, I just, I just can't get on with them. Yeah, I just don't get on with these. I just don't. You're meant to be finding a potion, basically, though, to change, to stop you. This is, this is basically, uh, uh, Sab Saber Guy, I think it's called. Um, he, he manages to say, to, 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 to become the Saber Wolf from the, from, from, from the game Saber Wolf. Um, and... Yeah, becomes the Saber Wolf. Oh, get off! It becomes him anyway. So, so this is his. This is the general gist of it. Is he's basically become the the wolf now. So he's a bit of a wolf man. Very unexciting, really. Oh, he's opening the gates. Oh, he touches the gate, opens it. That's fine. He's opening this one though. Standing right beside him, absolutely fine. Yeah, I don't. I'm not not a fan of these ones. So anyway, you're looking for the potion to change you back into a try and change your back into a real boy from being a werewolf. But to be honest with you, who wouldn't want to be a werewolf? Awesome. We've all seen the American Werewolf in London. It was a brilliant movie. Oh, can't jump that one. Right, quick run. Quest, 5%. Overall rating, poor. Yep, couldn't care less. <laughs> couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Not not, not interested whatsoever. Right, okay. Let's, let's have a little look at the next bit. And we go. It is a who's who's, right? It'll have Alien 8 on here. I think. Or, or it'll have Attic Attack. Doesn't sound very good so far. Fast forwarding that tape is not good. It's good to be back, though. As I say, I do. I, 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 I hope you missed it, but at the same time, I do need that break occasionally to, to catch up with other things. It takes up a lot of time. It's a hard job to do all of it at the same time. I could do with, I could do with uh, six days. Uh, so, sorry, uh, eight days of the week, four of them for YouTube and four of them for work. That would be lovely. Perfect timing. Let's see if we got anything else on this tape. It's quiet thus far. Extremely quiet, but no, we have something. Dude, alienate. What did I say? So there's another isometric from uh, our friends at uh, at ACG. As I say, a bit of a who's who's of uh, of of ACG games. It's like somebody cap copied. There's like a there's like a multi pack one there that's out there that uh, that you can get. I'm gonna go just gonna go play ZX by the way. I'm not even gonna worry about this. Um, yeah, there's there is a there is a multi pack out there that you can get of uh, of 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 them. It's like the greatest hits or something similar. This looks like a copy of that greatest hits. Alienate ultimate ultimate play the game. I got a question. I saw something recently um, online, I think it was, and they were discussing uh, ACG, Ashby Computer Graphics. I think it is, isn't it? Not games, or is it games? Oh, I never get it right. Anyway, um, so an, an ultimate play the game. Were they rare when they were ultimate before they became rare? Were they rareware as it was? They seem to suggest that back in the 80s, when this was all going on, that they were rare. 
which kind of is interesting. I, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, um, I mean, they're, 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 they've been around a long time. You'd think they'd have a fair bit of cash set up in the old bank at this point in time. It wouldn't wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't go to the wall quite like um, poor old Volition did recently. Um, somebody said that it, you know, it only takes one bad game to go bust as Volition. It wasn't one bad game for Volition, unfortunately. It was two, because did anybody play Agents of Mayhem? Exactly. Not a single one of you remember them, but Volition were responsible for um, the the uh, the Saints Row series, the one, two, three, um, four, uh, Get Out of Hell, and then the fifth one, which came out recently, was just like a reboot of it all. And although technically not awful, it just didn't do anything for anybody. Nobody really um, jumped on it. But they had this one in between, which is called the Agents of Mayhem, and nobody remembers it. Absolutely nobody remembers it. So. You had two bad games. You had Agents of Mayhem and and then Saints Row, and that that killed a, effectively a triple A company, which is a bit of a shame because Volition weren't one of the weren't one of the bad ones along the way. They were responsible for the Gorilla, um, you know, uh, what was it called, um, Red Faction, um, and I think it was called Red Gorilla or something like that, something similar. But they were responsible for the Red Fraction, Faction games as well. So, 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 so they didn't have a bad sort of history of games. They just, just, just had a bad run of the last two. And of course, in the the, the days of AAA sort of costs. And I'm, I'm going to question where those costs come from. You know, what, is it shareholders that are wanting the money? Probably. They just, they, they, they've gone. Um, it's a shame. Um, I would have liked to have seen a, a, a good Saints Row game. Another one. Um, there were the the Saints Row three for for me was was better than four. Two was all right. One was all right. They set the the ground work for three and three's fun. There was a remake of three. It was quite nice actually if you played it. Quite a lot of fun. You can have quite a lot of fun with that one. Quite cheap to still buy. Um, but yeah guess two bad games and that's it for a triple a unfortunately okay directional controls again idiot jumped right okay so um i'm not sure what the stud score is with alienate um you are a little robot I, as we can see here um graphics are good Gameplay's good. I guess we're going somewhere because it's like the years are on the bottom of the screen. And see, it's the years are like counting down. I guess we're getting bombs or something like that. It's not awful. They just. I mean, they started perf to perfect these sort of um, isometrics. This is this is a, this is obviously ultimate, um, and they started pr to perfect them. They 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 have slowdown issues. They they I, I who liked these? Come on, put your hands up in the box below uh, or in the comments below. Who liked these? I I didn't like these. I didn't like these at all because you see, I'm gonna have to go out here and then go back, and if I want to go up them stairs, then I'm gonna have to get, time this. Look. Look at that. I mean, talk about a tough, t tall order. Look at that. So I, I have to jump, 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 and then jump over that, and then come back, yeah, to get out of this room. My God. They're not. Honestly, you, somebody hands up who thinks these are fun. I mean, I liked Head Over Heels. Oh, don't get me wrong, but I liked Head Over Heels probably not for the reasons you think I like Head Over Heels. I just like I like the style of it. I like the graphics, and that was shit because it just made it disappeared there as I stood on it. Um, I just like the style. Head Over Heels was good, but this is trial and error because because. Oh shit! <laughs> Swearing a lot this episode. Um, yeah, it was trial and error, but but it, yeah, this is this is not this is not it's not fun. I can't turn fast enough. 
cryogenic chambers or unactivated cryo um, cry cryonauts. So, oh, so I'm saving the people on board the ship. It's just like Alien all over again. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm saving the cryogenically frozen. There we go. Exciting as it is. Didn't even know. Re overall rating poor. Yeah, no, no, no poop. <laughs> Twenty-four chambers. Un, un, whatever else. I don't like them. I don't like them. I like them for there's reasons why I like some of them. There's reasons why I like other ones. And I, and I don't like that one. I like Head Over Heels because it's got it's a smart puzzle game and it's not angry, as angry as some of the other ones. I quite like the Batman one. It's not so angry where you try to put the Batmobile together. That's kind of okay. But I think when they get really tough and difficult, that, that's just not fun at all. There are some good ones out there, I'm guessing. Those, those two that I mentioned to them. Have you got any others? Think of some other isometrics that you liked. But they also have to be able to see what you're doing. Ah, another isometric that I quite liked. Um, ant attack, but you could change the direction you looked at ant attack. Another isometric, but, but not the same as those isometrics. One where you could run around everywhere. Very clever. But not, but more fun than, than those other ones. So, yeah, I, it's hard, isn't it? It really is. Oh, are we finished? It's gone very quiet. Oh, sir, say it sounds like thunder. Oh no, no, we're not, we're not done yet. Oh, however, we're not going to know what this one is. Give it a go. Come on. No, try it again. Come on, you know you want to. Frustrating. Right, okay, into the other tape deck, I think. Now, hang on, we'll pop it in the other tape deck. I'll see if we can get a name out of this. See if we can guess what it is. Alien 8 last time round, though. But it does seem to be a who's who's of, uh, of, 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 of sort of, uh, of, of ultimate games. Right, okay, pop that in there. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. Play. Let's hope this one turned up a little bit. Gives us a, a an idea. Pajama Rama. Is this three D? Can't remember. This is Microgen, isn't it? Microgen. Wally again, of course. The fam the Wally family. Pajama Rama is this child, isn't it? Something like that. This is not going to load properly. I can see it already. Look at that on the screen. That's all over the place. Yeah, that, that looks terrible. What the hell's going on there? Yeah, that crashed. I'm not surprised for some, some reason. Right, okay. On to, on to, back onto Play ZX. Let's do that. Do, do it from Play ZX. Let's do that. Pajama Rama. Pajama Rama. What a name for a game. Those were the days, though. Those were the days. Let's have a look at this. Pajama Rama. PJ. I can't spell Pajama Rama. I can't spell it. <laughs> can I speak into this? Because I can't say. I can't, sp I can't spell it. I can't spell it. I'll just spell it. Blummin' heck, can't spell. Can't spell at all. Right. Uh, jam. Rama. There's actually a song called Pajama Rama. Did anybody know that? There's also a book trust called Pajama Rama. Oh, okay. That's a new one on me. There's a, there's a Pajama Rama is an English rock band, Roxy Band, March 1973. Oh, right, maybe it's named after that. I don't know. Uh, that's very weird, but anyway. Never knew that. Did you know that? Did you know there was a Pajama Rama? A game? I, I, or or a, whatever else it is? I didn't know that. 
it was a song, Pajama Rama. Microgen, that's the one. Version two, what's the difference? Version two. Star Software re-release. It's four minutes long in Spain for some reason. Why is the Spanish version four minutes long? Yes. So yeah, part of the Wally um, sort of uh, saga, isn't it? And apparently, this is the name of a song as well from 1973. Rock band, 1973. Pajama Rama. I think the general gist of this though is so hoping it loads properly this time around is the your are you the baby you have to you wander around the house or something similar or are you the or are you wally could be wally i think you're wally and you're trying to uh, uh, wake up to go to the to the doll office to sign on i think that's the general gist of it that looks really good it's loading beautifully absolutely wonderful yeah that, that one works for me yeah that one's that one's rubbish Stop. Uh, let's try version 2 of the game and see if version 2 loads any better. Yeah, I think he's trying to avoid going to the dole office. That's the general gist of it. He's, he's, off, he's, off, he's off doing that. I guess. <laughs> see? Creative human beings, this. Creative human beings. No AI. I wish I had more coffee, though. I've run out of coffee. I'm a bit short of coffee now. I think I've got, like, a cold mouthful here. Do I risk it? I think I do. I think I need it. I think I need the cold mouthful. I can't believe that. You know what I was saying about the Spanish? You've got, like, a four-minute-long version. I think that might work. Stop. Four-minute-long there's an Italian re-release, but we'll not go with that one. We'll go with a four-minute long Spanish version, fully sort of uncompressed, No, none of this uh, speed loader rubbish that's there. That is the problem, you know. It's the speed loaders that keep killing all of these things. It's, that's that's the, the, the nightmare that we have when we're doing these things. Or is this something completely different? I have no idea what we're loading now. I give in. What's this? Yes, it is it. I think. Stars. Yeah, this look there he is, a little wally down the bottom there. In his 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 nightgown. I kind of like that. You get to see the loading screen with a with a with a bit of the the actual game in it. I definitely want to try. I will definitely want to have another go at Booty. I like Booty. Booty's one of my favourite sort of budget titles. That's a, I love that one. I also need to have a go at Finders Keepers again because I I do like that one as well. However, the maze bit is a bit annoying. I think, but 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 of course, once you've sorted the maze and made it all the way through, it's it's quite good. It's quite good, it's quite good. Nothing else exciting to tell you, to be honest with you at the moment. Well, it's been, it's been, it's been, I say, quiet a couple of two weeks. That's apart from the television exploding and a couple of nights out with, 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 uh, with for, for dinner and things like that. Nothing very exciting, realistically. I haven't even really got a chance to, I've, I'm, 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 uh, I've got a week off in September, so I'm planning to do a bit of, bit of recording during that week off. It's an excuse to do some then. Rather than actually doing it over those two weeks, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a bit of a bit of, bit of a session there and get some Spectrum games in and get a you know get a few other things in, few few Amstrad games, few Commodore games. Um, I, I might get some more Amiga ones done. Quite like quite like the Amiga ones. Quite liking those. Not done enough for the Amiga ones. I'd like to do more. I mean, as to say, I'd, I could do with another week or two in my life for all these things. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna um, soft mod at least one Xbox if I can get round to it. During that time as well, the original Xbox that is, um, that that's a lovely machine to be honest with you. I, I I didn't have one back in the day. I I was a PlayStation. I was a PlayStation One, and then a PlayStation Two owner. I always kind of sneered at the uh, the Microsoft's first entry into uh, into 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 consoles. And and to be fair, 
It's not a bad little box, realistically. It really isn't. It's it, it's certainly it's certainly got some good games that uh, were exclusively for it. Um, not that I'm a big fan of exclusivity. This is the this is the old AAA title um, conversation. The old um, Microsoft now try to redo the Activision deal so that uh, they can protect Call of Duty so that it's on all formats. And I'm like, really? You know? Yeah. I mean, this is about buying up exclusivity a bit like Starfield the game that's been re released recently um, you know it's on Microsoft products it's on the PC which I don't want to call a Microsoft product but, the, but it's Windows at the end of the day and it's on um, the Xbox um, Xbox Xbox One or whatever it is Xbox One Series X Series Series 9000 HAL 9000 um, Space Odyssey 17 um, it, it's on one of those, um, but it's not on the the, the, the PlayStation um, Five. Um, so there's Sony still still very unhappy about it, and the, the, the obviously the, the 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 PlayStation owners are unhappy about it, and that's that's the thing. This is the thing about it. Back in the day, when you had a Spectrum version of a game, the version on the Commodore might be completely different because different teams created the same game but differently, or their variation of the design brief would be completely different. So some games are fantastic on the Commodore. Some great games are fantastic on the on the Spectrum. But that's what I'm saying. That there there is a there is no there's no there's no limit to the to, to what people are allowed to do. Now they're just all the same. They're just PC games. They're all personal computer games, and I don't care whether it's Windows, Linux, or anything else. They're all the blooming same. <coughs> I'm not going to understand this, am I? Oh, hang on. Redefine three. Oh. Uh, left, right. No, that's not right. Left, right. Yeah, that looks good. Three, left. Oh, it's going far too fast. Three. Yeah, that looks better. Right. Uh, enter to begin. That's right. Let's jump. So. We're Wally, um, and we're trying to avoid waking up. There's a glass of milk at the top of the screen is kind of our energy bar to show us that we're not uh, not waking up. There's some some weird game rooms in this. I remember rightly. There's some like there's like some there's oh god, I'm dead. Woke up, body transferred back to the original place. I think he has to wake up so that he can go go to the doll office and sign on, so he can make sure that he uh, gets his uh, gets his gets his uh, um, benefits sorted. A lot of games about benefits back in the day. Now let me see if I can find the the, the there's a room with space invaders in it. I think if I'm right, I can't remember which room that is, but. Yeah. Ah. I don't want to be in that room. Damn. Ah, is it here? I don't know, there's a weird room with space invaders in it. I remember that. It's all the typical sort of collect things, use items in certain rooms. See, there's Wally's asleep there. Look, there he is, fast asleep. He's got to stay, he's got to wake up so that he can, uh, they can, he can, he can, he can, he can fulfill his destiny. Uh, there's a video room here. Is this the one? There you go, space invaders. I told you it was a space invaders in it. It's very bizarre. But yeah, so he can fulfill his destiny as uh, loafer of the week. Um, Oh, I'm awake. Can I finish this? Thought? Can I go enough to finish it off? Yeah, I can. Right. Got it. Now we've got a chicken. There we are. I didn't remember this room, by the way. That's the reason why. I knew it was at the top, at the high, at the top of the level. And that's the only thing I really remember about it.
cool. I like this. Well, I like this game anyway. I like playing Space Invaders. That's the, let's be honest. I like playing Space Invaders. I'm a bit of a fan of Space Invaders. I got the uh, um, the the Invincible Collection for the the Switch. Well worth it, every penny. The Invincible Collection. I, 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 yeah, I had to pay for for a limited games run. I hate them realistically for for making limited games run and then then doing different versions of people and things like that. And and then you have to wait ages for them to do it while they collect enough money from each one. It's really it is it's it's a it's a shitty gaming gaming model and I don't like it. But it was the only way I was going to be able to get this Invincible Games Collection. It's with the, all of the extra games in it, including um, uh, uh, Lunar Lander and stuff like that, which is a fantastic sort of. Uh, um, uh, a Space Invaders sort of style clone, and I know that it's coming out for the Spectrum soon, so I'm looking forward to actually doing a, a review of that when that does arrive. I've seen some of the early video footage. I'm not sure who it is is doing it. I, uh, his name, you'll know his name if you're on the, any of the forums that are to do with it. It's it's just, it looks great. And it's and it's perfect for the spectrum. It's a perfect kind of game. It looks the business. It's all spectrum in colours. It is really good. I've played it before on the channel. I think it's Lunar Rescue on the uh, on the uh, on the on the on the spectrum. Um, it's just not as good, but but it has popped up before. Just really nice, sensible game. You go down, you drop down past what meteorites and things like that, and pick up people from platforms. Once you pick them up from the platform, you then fly back up um, and shoot at um, aliens as you go. Simple. It's kind of you know, and rinse and repeat. Lovely stuff. Bit of easy action. You know, those those are the sort of simplest games. To, in, indeed. Um, and that's again, if you ever watch all these YouTube things and you get get gaming videos that that are shown to you as you do it, they're all the same rinse and repeat things. Well, that's sounding bad. Ooh. Sounds like something's there, but it's not loading. Let's uh let's change it to the other tape deck. Cause that can that can go louder and we'll see if we can actually find out what's actually in there. See if there's anything exciting on the on top of this one. Let's 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 give this this let's give this a blast. We're almost I can feel we're almost at the end of the tape. And pl thank you for joining me for so for for so long, wasting some of your time with, with, with listening to me talking utter garbage as usual. Sometimes it makes sense, though. Sometimes. Only sometimes. But uh, I do speak some utter garbage most of the time. Ah, there we go. I knew there was something there. Night. That's night lore again. I can tell in a se second by the sound. Listen. Wait for it. Our tape error. Wait for it. There, that's the sound of Night Law. Right, so 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 Night Law again, not doing Night Law again, which is fine. So obviously when they when they did a little uh, a special version of it, they struggled that that time round. Let's see whether or not we can find something else on this tape before we before before we before we dust off the uh, the, the 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 end credits. We have no end credits, by the way. In this this the, I, I don't do end credits. I should do end credits. My wife wants me to do something with all the tapes that I've actually, you know, used for these things. Frame them, maybe, for, for the end of the season. You know, sign it or something like that. And I don't know, nobody wants my, nobody wants my signature, do they? On the tape or the season? No. Nobody wants that. So you all be big-headed for a second there. Nope. Come on, data recorder. Let's get... Let's get through this. Let's get ready to rumble. Ant and Deck. <laughs> We're still laughing. At... <laughs> no, not Ant and Deck. Leave them alone. Leave Ant and Deck alone. Leave them out of it. Oh. Oh. Is there anything less left? Is there just... Is there a... We've got... A... I reckon we've got enough for one more thing, but I don't know if we're going to get anything. So far, it's quiet. It's not even a sort of rumbling of a copy sound. Well, there's a little bit more. Let's have a look at the tape. Oh, we're so close to the end of it now. I don't think we're going to get any more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings to the close 
the first volume, the first volume of a brand new season of What's on the Tape. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll be back next week with the with the second volume. I might see if I can find. I've got I've got a few on these tapes here. That that's, that's some lovely stuff. I maybe I maybe do a I maybe if if my stuff arrives, my boxes arrive. Apparently they're coming. 24 hour tracked can you believe that 24 hour tracked for 350 odd tapes if that arrives i think i'll give you a little uh, we'll try and have a little tour of that if we can i don't know how i'm going to tour 350 tapes but but we'll have a look we'll do something anyway with them anyway i've been your host real genetic demon thank you for watching please feel free to like and subscribe and i'll catch you next week with a new episode i'll see you soon bye now